Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, massive thank you to everyone who chimed in on my last video, kind of explaining not the shift in my channel because I'm going to still share tons of recipe videos that you've come to expect, but more, I guess, more sort of requests that you've had. I have filmed a full day, a what I eat in a day sort of video, um, which honestly was so much harder to do than I expected. Um, I feel like I needed to write on my hand film, otherwise I was going to forget. Um, I filmed, I think it was a Thursday, which um, I'm trying to think, I think it was just like a typical work day for me, working from home, doing content for the website. I wasn't uh, doing any photo editing, so I think I was just doing writing because I've had a few weeks of kind of intense work, so I've kind of been taking it easy. Um, so I went out for brunch, lunch, I think that day, one of those. And something that I will explain a little bit further in another video is what you see in terms of recipes and stuff on my website. I don't necessarily eat that every single day, um, especially because so much of it is desserts. When I'm not training heavily or doing regular weight training, I'm pretty loose with my diet. I don't necessarily follow any specific diet. Um, so this day is actually very, very random. I only noticed this towards the end of the day, but I didn't have too much in my fridge come dinner time. So I had to scrounge in the freezer for some random stuff. So I think I found like these kids potato chip sort of things that, that I ate and they were fine. So as you see in this video, it's a pretty random day, but as I'll hopefully show you in future videos, most days are not really like this. When I'm training really heavily, my diet is really, really protein and carb heavy. Um, or when I'm recipe testing keto recipes, my, my day is pretty low in carbs. Or when I'm doing vegan recipes, um, there's no animal protein, no milk. Like I use all plant-based ingredients. So it really, really varies. And please excuse the less than stellar quality. Um, I'm still getting the hang of filming these sort of videos on YouTube. So yeah, this is everything I ate on a random Thursday. So for breakfast this morning, I made a smoothie, which is one of my usual breakfasts. To the base, I added some ice, which makes it really thick. And then I added a banana. I've noticed with other people when they make a smoothie recipe, they usually use a frozen banana, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. Um, you also notice later on in the video, I actually ran out of milk, um, which is not really typical. I usually always use milk in my smoothie, but I was able to compensate for it another way. Next, I add some yogurt. I love adding Greek yogurt to it. It makes it really thick and creamy and it adds a ton of protein to it as well. Um, excuse me by using my finger to wipe off the yogurt, but we all do that. Next, I added some homemade granola. I usually like to add something oat-based to add extra fiber and protein, makes it tastier, makes it thicker. So this is just a homemade granola. And I added some protein powder. This is my favorite dimatized casein protein powder. It makes it super thick and also has tastes really good as well. And because I didn't have any milk, um, it sort of made it creamy anyway. So it worked really well. Then for an extra nutrient boost, I add some baby spinach, which I think this is one of the last times I made a smoothie with spinach because spinach has become super expensive in Australia right now. I think there's like a lettuce shortage or something going on because you can never find it. And if you do, it is super expensive. Blend it up and that is breakfast sorted. Tastes good, goes down really fast, which means I can get into some work really quickly. So it is a really nice day today in Melbourne, so I'm going to go out for some brunch. Oh, it's a bit bright. <laughs> go out for some brunch and enjoy the sun and then get back to work. So haven't been to this place before, so hopefully there's some good stuff on the menu. Started with my favorite almond milk flat white, and this place made it really good, which is sometimes they can be hit and miss. Uh, two dishes, one of them was their special, which had a bunch of random stuff I can't remember, and the other one was just poached eggs, toast, and their house cured smoked salmon. No, maybe it was smoked trout. I always judge a place on how good their poached eggs are, and these ones were pretty great, as you can see.
So for dinner tonight, there was really slim pickings in the fridge and the freezer, but I found a fillet of salmon, which I used my go-to recipe, which I'll link below. Simple marinated salmon that can either be baked or fried or air fried. I usually like potatoes or something similar to pair with dinner and there was no potatoes. So found these at the bottom of the freezer. They are, I think some potato kind of hash brown sort of thing for kids, but I'm gonna eat them for dinner tonight and they are smiling at you. How fun. To go with dinner, I try and make some greens of some sort. So just, again, a really slim picking salad. Like there's really not much in the fridge besides the spinach. So there was a couple of mushrooms, some baby bell peppers and some yellow grape tomatoes. You know, if it works, it works. I'm pretty basic when it comes to salad dressings. I usually just like olive oil, vinegar, salt and pepper. I don't think I had vinegar this day, so I just did olive oil, Dijon mustard, salt, pepper, mixed it together. It worked. Look at that sizzle. So some friends went to Ben and Jerry's and picked us up some ice cream and I'm not actually sure what flavors they are. They look sort of like cookies and cream, but actually a little bit darker. So going to try some now. And I'm, that was the test of scripts. So I'm gonna definitely put more in and see if there's something else at the bottom of this. So let's go. So that is everything I ate today. Um, it's just started raining, so I'm not sure if you hear the rain in the background. Feel free to subscribe, turn on your notification bell so you can always be updated when a new video comes up. Leave a comment with what you'd like to see on here or if there's any requests that you have, and I'll see you in the next video.